give an example of it's too expensive that I think it hits right at home. Sandy Hook, um, I'm in the Lindbergh School District, which is a, a, a suburban St. Louis school district, 6,000 students, and give you some understanding about that. Uh, we, have, we have multiple buildings, and uh, we're running right now eight buildings, uh, campuses. And we started uh, making the doors to the classroom where they could lock from the inside. Many of you have done that too, so a teacher can lock out an intruder. And, but it's expensive really expensive and uh, so we were chewing on that elephant one bite at a time so we were, we were taking okay we'll do fifteen twenty thousand dollars worth of doors a year sort of banking on the fact that that will work that direction then Sandy Hook hit bam and it was such a, a just a mind-boggling tragedy that all of a sudden our our teachers and they would be teachers went really out into a, an informal grapevine to parents and others about how unsafe they felt about behind those doors. And all of a sudden our $20,000 a year project got ramped up in one board meeting to over a quarter of a million and it was, and we were gonna do it no matter what the money situation was because when safety and you're feeling threatened, that's how that goes. So uh, as an example, Robert, on that, Sometimes it just sweeps you along like, like, like a tidal wave. It's, and that was that way. It was like nobody stands up against those doors having been done as quickly as possible because you're just, gonna, you're just not going to win that. So that's an example of how, of how something happens on a national level that just sledgehammers you. It was the right thing to do. We just didn't have the budget for a quarter of a million dollars that year, and it just became like it, the board would and the community, you're, you will do it. So it does come out of the blue sometimes. When we start talking about safety, you think about schools that that's not really normal, their normal priority. Uh, it's, it's educating kids and the higher test scores, getting kids there, getting them graduated. But like you mentioned before, I mean, it's this day and age, we have to think about that. Whether, you know, I'm in a smaller area, you know, 1,900 students total for the district where you might have in your schools and your cities, you got 1,900 plus in a high school. So the it won't happen to us definitely hits home a lot. We even try to hit our rural areas. You know, we're probably more susceptible because we have the kids that go out and go hunting. You know, hunting season's upon us and they're more likely to have a gun in their vehicle. So you always want to have that heightened sense of security. But then of course, the it's too expensive thing happens. Um, Right now, some of the big things are the secondary locks, where you can lock from the inside. Uh, I know there was a company that uh, had what was called a U-lock, U-lock it system, and we, we looked into it, and just to purchase it, it was $60 a door to, to do that. And we were fortunate enough to have a vocational school that made it for us for $3.50 a door.